Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. A few videos back in the tool haul, I picked up this Milwaukee M18 chainsaw on Marketplace for 175. Got a couple tree limbs that were pretty decent that came down in a storm uh, just a few days ago. I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut down before I take them down because I don't want the OSHA police getting on me how I take these down. But I'm gonna basically put in this six amp hour battery because that was a big thing for me whenever I kept looking at this is what size battery do I need with this? This is the biggest high output battery that I have. So I'm just gonna put this in. I'm gonna cut up as much as I can. It may do all of it, it may do half of it, I don't know. And then towards the end, I'm gonna save some big pieces. I'm gonna compare that to my Poulon Pro 18 inch chainsaw that's gas. I'm hoping that I can just get rid of this thing. So that way I don't have to keep up with this stuff anymore. I can just use my batteries that I already have. I did put a brand new chain on the Milwaukee. I also got a brand new chain on the Poulon Pro. So we're gonna see what the difference of that is at the end. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these branches down. We're gonna put in the six amp hour battery and we're gonna see how much we can cut up. All right, guys, we got 6.0. Show you that it's fully charged. I'm just gonna go over here and start cutting. We'll see how it works out. All right, guys, so there we go. Just cut up all that brush, took two bars of a 6.0, so half a battery. I cut up quite a bit. I'm gonna put a picture of the brush pile up here. That's a burn pile. We'll get that burned up later. Now I'm gonna switch gears, change over to cutting this. I'm gonna use the gas chainsaw and then also the battery powered. I'll cut it both uh, ways separately so that you can hear the sound difference, because to me, that's one of the big selling points of this is one is I don't have to use gas. I don't have to pull start it, but also the sound is significantly less. So it's much better, I'm sure, over the long haul for ear, hearing protection and all those kinds of things. And then if I can talk my wife into it, she doesn't like using a chainsaw, but maybe she'll use this one. 
we'll do a head to head against each other, see which one cuts to it first. But let's go ahead and get that set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut with the gas powered chainsaw, just so you can hear the sound of it. I'm gonna cut it by itself without using both of them together at the same time. Uh, and again, I have to start this one with the pull start. I have to have gas, all those things. So even if it cuts just a hair better than the battery powered one, to me, it's not worth all those extra steps. You got more sound, you gotta have gas, you gotta pull start it. So let's see how this one cuts. And then I'll make a cut with the battery powered one by itself so you can hear the sound of it. And then we'll see what they sound like or how they react together. Now we'll swap to the battery. I changed to a new 6.0 so that way it's fully charged so that way it's a better comparison. I don't want to use a half charged battery. But listen to the sound difference. So do I think it's a little bit slower? Probably so, but it's not significantly. Again, for all the extra features you get out of this, less sound, no gas, no pull start, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. I think I got a good purchase. But now I'm gonna get my wife to come in. I'm gonna run the gas when she's never ran a chainsaw before. We'll let her use this battery powered one. Maybe she's more comfortable with that. We'll cut it side by side and see which one makes it through first. All right guys, so this is about as professional as a setup as you're gonna see down on our knees using two chainsaws. We might cut each other's arms off, who knows? But we're gonna find out which one of these makes it through first. Which one do you think? Put it in the comments below even though you're going to be watching it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one, but we're, I'm, I'm curious to see how much faster to, is it really worth it. So I'm going to get it started. We'll start at the same time and then we'll get it going. <laughs> did it first uh, it's either that or it was operator was better more than likely that might be the case but again I'm just trying to show you guys that a battery powered chainsaw might be the way to go these days they've came a long way with battery powered stuff you know I always feel like it's a pain to have to go out to my garage because I don't get my chainsaw out very often as far as for this one and I have to start it every so often so that I know where to start when I need it or I have to drain the fuel out. All those things to take care of something like this. Whenever, if I just have something like this that I want to do real fast, I can go straight to my garage, get out my batteries, throw them in a chainsaw, and then just start cutting away. I think that's a big benefit. So let me know in the comments below if you have this chainsaw, what you think about it, or if you've got another brand because there's probably some other people watching with a DeWalt platform or some other brand. Let them know how yours uh, how well yours does uh, so that maybe they know that they don't need to swap total battery platforms just to get a chainsaw But I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments below Make sure you like like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope that you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day See you guys on the next video